First thing I will ask you to do is to state your first and last names and spell each for the record. All right, my first name is Sarah, S-A-R-A-H. My last names are Waymeyer, W-E-H-M-E-I-E-R, and Aparicio, A-P-A-R-I-C-I-O. Thank you. Go ahead, your witness. Thank you. Uh, Ma'am, can you tell us where you work? I work for the school district of Waukesha. What was your job title during the 2021-2022 academic year? I was the director of bands at Waukesha South High School. What kind of things do you do as the band director at South? Um, organize all sorts of events, whether it's concerts or marching band, performing in parades. How long did you hold that position? I held the position on and off over the years for 10 years. As the band director at Waukesha South, how frequently did you interact with the kids who were members of the band? On a daily basis. Okay. And did you know the name of all the kids that were in your marching band during that school year? Oh, absolutely, yes. Did the band march in the 2021 Waukesha Christmas Parade? Yes, we did. Were you there with them? Yes, I was. Had you done that in the past? Yes, I had. About um, how every, many times? Every year that I was there, we did that parade as well as Memorial Day. Would you describe it as an event that the kids look forward to? Absolutely. When the band marches, uh, are they in formation? They are. What about uniforms? Do they have any? We do have uniforms, yes. Okay. Uh, when you march in formation, is this something that you practice with the band? We do. We practice um, with the students that are in the marching band portion of the parade. We had also done another parade in the Dells that year, so we had practiced with that. For the students that are not in marching band, we had practiced during class time for several, several weeks leading up to it. How does the formation of the marching band get set up? So we practice during class and then we kind of have the general structure of what it will look like and then student leaders within the section place the students in their places the day of the parade. So they have a little leeway but you don't want bass drums marching next to clarinets? Correct, exactly. So we say these two rows will be flutes so senior leaders help decide which flutes are in those located or those specified places. I'm going to ask that we project Exhibit 21 onto the screen for the witness and the defendant. Motion granted. Just let me know when you see a picture in front okay. of you. It is here, yep. Okay, what are we looking at with Exhibit 21? Can you tell us what this is? Uh, so this is an aerial view of our marching band. Um, you can see the names of the students that are identified. Those were all students that were physically impacted by the car that day. November 21st of 2021? Correct. The Waukesha Christmas Parade? Correct. Have you reviewed this uh, photograph and the information contained in it before your testimony today? Yes, I have. Does it accurately represent uh, the formation of the kids in your band on that day? It does, yes. I move exhibit uh, 21 into evidence and ask to publish. Any position? the object. Exhibit 21 has received permission to publish as granted. And can we zoom in on that a little bit? There we go. Can you walk us through uh, from left to right, just identifying, I know that we can all read, but just for the record, can you read those names for us and then also tell us what instrument each of those kids is playing? All right, so first we have Aiden Lofgren on bass drum. Connor Tank on crash cymbals, Justin Galaxon on sousaphone, Eric Teeks trombone, Tyler Pudliner on tenor sax, um, still on the exterior, Harry Gofoy on trumpet, then Eleanor Anders on mellophone, Theo Mazza on trumpet, Mara Gilchrist on alto sax, and Sasha Catalan on clarinet. What's a mellophone? A mellophone is a marching version of a French horn. What about a sousaphone? A marching version of a tuba. Have you ever seen the Ohio State Marching Band perform? I have, yes. I'll withdraw the question. <laughs> so, Could be the Badgers. Um, there are 10 members of your band identified in this photograph, is that right? That is correct. Okay. Could we please uh, project for the witness only uh, Exhibit 15? Do 
you see something on your screen in front of you? There's a map on the screen. Are you familiar with downtown Waukesha? I am, yes. Okay. Do you recognize what we're looking at in this map? I do, yes. Okay. Um, Exhibit 15 was previously received and published. I'd ask to publish again. Permission granted. Can we zoom in, um, Ms. Gussie, on the intersection? There we go. Yep. All right. Do you see a, uh, a yellow star between uh, Barstow and Gasper Streets on Main Street? Yes. And do you see the line connecting that yellow star to uh, a box with some green background and, and some names? I do. Under the banner of Waukesha South Band? Correct, yes. Take a, a moment, take as much time as you need, read through those names in that list. Let me know when you're done. Okay. Are the names on that list um, identical to the names that you previously told us about in Exhibit 21, that photograph of the aerial view? Yes. Overruled. She may answer. I believe she did answer, and her answer may stand. Did the jury all hear that? All right, thank you. Can you tell us uh, what happened while your band was marching between Barstow and approaching Gasper Street on Main Street on November 21st of 2021? So I was towards the front of the band. That tends to be where I typically am because um, if you can imagine a typical parade, there's a lot of stopping and starting as the band is going through the streets. And so I am in connection with our drum majors. Those are the student leaders who have the whistles that give the students the command when they should be forward marching and when we should be marching in place. So I'm helping look ahead to see what's coming down the road while the students are busy playing their instruments. Um, the streets had just narrowed as we got into that point and everyone was, there was a lot of enthusiasm in the crowd and the, the student, I could feel the energy from the students. And all of a sudden I heard something going on, so I, I turned around and at first I thought there was an emergency vehicle or something. I could tell there was some sort of a vehicle trying to get through. And then I started just seeing things flying in the air and I realized this was not a vehicle waiting for people to move out of the way. I realized this vehicle was running over people. Um, the students around me, we all kind of dispersed at the same time. I thought in the initial moments that it was an accident, but then as I turned and the car went immediately past me and I could see that the driver was staring straight ahead and knew that, you know, could, could have clearly seen that they were running over people. What happened next? Um, my first impact was to run after the car for a moment. And then I realized, because I watched them run over the people in front of me as well. And then I turned around and I saw my students all laying on the street and screaming. A police officer immediately, it felt like at the time, immediately came running, shots fired. And so my students who weren't injured were all dispersed. And I was trying to, at the same time, watch over my students in the street, but keep an eye on where the other students who were going so that I could make sure they were all safe as well. But I stayed in the streets so that we didn't know where the shots fired were coming from, so I wanted to make sure that those students in the street were safe as well. And just to clarify, you mentioned that you heard from a police officer that shots had been fired? Correct. You yourself, with the trained ear of a band director, didn't hear any gunshots? I did not hear gunshots, no. Okay. I'm going to ask that we uh, project on the screen for the witness only exhibit number 24, please. And can we make sure we're playing this at normal speed? <coughs> and we're going to turn the volume off while we identify, so we'll leave it off there. I'm just going to play a few seconds without any volume, um, and then I'll stop and I'll ask you a question, okay? Okay. Okay, we've stopped at about five seconds into the video. Do you recognize this video? Uh, yes, that is our band performing. And uh, I'm not sure how familiar you are with downtown, but do you know the businesses that your band is in front of right now? Um, we're by Davino Gelato and Martha Merrill's. Okay. And then and the Allo Chocolat and everything is on the other side as well as an apartment building. Okay. Um, 
Have you reviewed this video before your testimony today? Uh, yes, I have. Does it accurately depict what happened to your band the yes, afternoon it does. of the parade? You move exhibit 24 into evidence and ask to publish. Any position, Mr. Brooks? Objection. Um, if the witness has seen this video before, how, how would that corroborate with the testimony? Your objection is noted, it's overruled. Exhibit 24 is received, permission to publish is granted. We are going to play this uh, entirely through. It's 30 seconds long. We're going to play it once with the audio at normal speed. Go ahead. <laughs> 